Welcome back to my channel. My name is Chucky, also known as Curly Boy Chuck. If you're new, welcome, and if you're returning, you rock. You saw the title, yes, I'm gonna be diving a little bit deeper into my video today regarding a heavier topic than usual. Now, I know usually my videos are really light, they're lighthearted, they're fun, a little bit crazy. But today I wanted to dive into a topic a little bit more deeper than I normally would because I feel like it's important to have some balance on my channel. I love the lighthearted stuff, but sometimes you gotta get a little bit more deeper than that. So today's video, while talking about some heavy topics, I also decided to do a get ready with me hair mask that I've never used before, and that is from Not Your Mother's Curl Talk line, their deep conditioning mask. Now I did do a full review of their entire line, which you can see up here but I never once reviewed their hair mask or used their hair mask before. And the other day I was shopping at the grocery store and I saw it pop up and yes, there is a hairline in my grocery store. Don't ask questions. And I decided to pick it up to review it for you guys because you know I love to do my product reviews. And I also wanted to give you guys a more in-depth look on my history, my past, who I am, how I got here from point A to point B. So this video is gonna be touching on a heavy topic, including bullying, stress, depression, which all led to hair loss. So if you're ready to get real with me, Sit back, relax, and let's talk about it. All right, so unfortunately I did <laughs> apply the hair mask to my hair. I promise you I did. But when I checked my footage, my camera was out of focus and I didn't want to produce a video that was going to be me out of focus the entire time. I'm not doing that. So I'm going to just re-record what I said for the past 15 minutes <laughs> now that I have the deep conditioner in my hair. So pretty much I wanted to talk to you guys about the experience that I had when I was in when I was in school. So I went through a lot when I was in elementary school and when I was in junior high school. I just did not have a very good experience. And one of the effects of that bad experience, unfortunately, was high stress and anxiety, which at the time I didn't realize was linked to what I was going through but it ended up having an effect on me. I went through a lot of bullying and I'm not gonna go into grave detail. I think one day I will when I wanna talk about that, but I don't wanna talk about that in this video. I just wanna kinda give you guys a more broader perspective of what happened with my hair. But an effect of my hair falling out was directly related to bullying, which caused a lot of stress and anxiety. And I went through it from, I wanna say second grade to about eighth grade. So pretty much all of elementary school and all of junior high school. Yeah, it was bad. And I was picked on because I was different. I was more artistic. I was quiet. I was an introvert. Um, I was a really, really nice kid. You know, like I wasn't loud. I wasn't obnoxious. I just was to myself. But unfortunately, when you're that age, if you don't fit into a certain box or you're just too quiet, it's like a target is on your back and people were targeting me every direction. It was, it was horrible. And unfortunately, my biggest mistake was that I never spoke out about it. I never told my parents, I never told anybody in my family. I kept it to myself because I was ashamed and I didn't know how to even speak up for myself. I just didn't wanna deal with it. And I have the personality type that is very, I'm good, I'll be all right, I'm fine. And really I wasn't fine, I wasn't good, I wasn't okay and I should've spoke up and I didn't. And unfortunately, a direct effect of that was hair loss. So I remember back, I wanna say 97, 98, when I was about in seventh grade, I started noticing that my hair was not growing. Now, back then, I used to have my hair in a traditional fade, which is where you have a curly top and then you have the sides and the back all shaped. And of course, your hair starts to grow back in the sides and the back first. I remember noticing that certain parts of my hair weren't growing back. Like my hair was growing in certain areas, but then in other areas, it was just straight up bald. And I'm like, what's going on here? I noticed it in one section. And then one of my friends was like, you got a bald spot in this section. I'm like, I do. And it just, it seemed to be spreading in the back of my hair. Then it spread up to like the side of my, my sideburn here. And I just noticed that my hair wasn't growing and it freaked me out. Long story short, I ended up going to my, my mom and I was like, I don't know what's going on. My hair is starting to fall out. It's not growing in certain areas. That's never happened before. What's happening? Thankfully, I had a very proactive mother who was like, okay, let's, we're, we're gonna make an appointment and we're gonna see the doctor and we're gonna figure out what's happening because this is not normal. So I ended up going to the doctors. I wanna see maybe the following week. And long story short, his diagnosis was that I had a form of, and I'm gonna actually, get the name for you because I don't want to mispronounce it. Telogen effluvium. 
telogen effluvium. I'm going to put it somewhere up here as well. And that's pretty much, it's like a form of alopecia. And what it is in a nutshell is temporary hair loss due to extreme stress, anxiety, or depression, or some type of change in your life. Now, mind you, I was only about 13, 14 years old at this time. And yet I was diagnosed with this <laughs> because of high stress, anxiety. So that should give you some indication of what I went through when I was in school. It was bad. And so I remember at the time not knowing how to take that diagnosis. And I think my mom was confused as well because I was not vocal with my parents, like I said, about what I went through in school. I never told anybody that I was bullied. I never told anybody that I went through high emotional stress, anxiety. I didn't even know how to verbalize it myself, you know, or even comprehend it. So how could I verbalize it to my parents? I just wanted it to go away. And so because I had always struggled with anxiety just in my life in general, I think my parents just kind of assumed that it was just like my normal anxiety genetics popping up and that's what was causing my hair loss. They didn't really know where it stemmed from directly. I knew, but I didn't tell them. Primarily what was going on was my hormones were kind of all out of whack because of my high stress. And being male, you know, your hair is supposed to grow a lot and you, you know, you grow facial hair, all that good stuff. And I think I had already hit puberty at that time. Because of my hormone levels being all off from the stress and depression, it stopped my, my hair growth from happening. And so I needed a shot <laughs> of testosterone. And so I want to say maybe the following week, I had another appointment with the doctor to get the actual therapy. Now, the therapy. I was not ready for this, you guys. The therapy was... I was going to lay face front onto the hospital bed. So like I was getting a massage, although I was not getting a massage. And the doctor was going to put needles into the back of my head, a bunch of shots in my head of testosterone. 15, 15 shots to my head. And this needle was like this big, okay? It was not a tiny needle, it was a big needle. 15. So I remember holding on to like a towel or something. I can't remember what he gave me, but he gave me something to hold on to because he was like, it's going to hurt. Just grit your teeth. And so I did. And he put shots all throughout my head. It hurt. <laughs> it hurt. I remember it just stinging really badly and it was just bad. It's a, it's a memory that I've tried to like erase and now I'm bringing it back. <gasps> Ooh. Thankfully, it wasn't a long process. He was fast with it, but it was 15 needles to my head. Thankfully, he was right and it worked and my hair started to grow back. Now, I don't have pictures of this time in my life because again, this was pre-social media, this was pre-iPhones, this was pre-technology that we have today. And I was not trying to take a picture of my balding head because I was really embarrassed. So let your imagination take you there. But it was just a bunch of bald spots in the back of my head. And I was worried when I was in school, like, am I going to get bullied even more because now I'm having balding, are they going to notice it? Thankfully, I did get a haircut shortly after my diagnosis to kind of hide the balding spots from my head. So nobody really noticed that my hair was balding because I was shaving that bad boy. <laughs> I was shaving it up until my hair started growing back naturally. And thankfully within, I want to say about a month is when my hair started to really take off and grow in its normal state again. And I was back to normal, but it took a while. And I went through excess stress and anxiety and depression that I didn't really need to go through had I just spoken up. So I wanna to talk to you guys now about what not speaking up can do. Now, before I get into that, I'm going to head over to the shower. I'm gonna rinse out the deep conditioner and I'm gonna style my hair and then we're gonna finish this discussion. By the way, this deep conditioner is amazing. It smells so good. It is nice and creamy. My hair feels nice and moisturized and hydrated already. And I'm excited to wash this out and show you guys my results. So stay with me. All right, now it's time for me to finish this story time for you guys. And yes, I did dry my hair styled my hair all with Not Your Mother's Curl Talk. I used their leave-in, the styling cream, and the gel. And now I'm ready to talk. Now, what I was saying when I left off is that I really wish that I had spoke up a lot earlier in my life. I think I would have avoided a lot of the pain that I went through, both emotionally, mentally, and hair-wise. <laughs> um, I actually have a journal that I used to write in back in the day when I was going through my junior high school days. And when I read it back, it's like, who is this person? Like, it was just so dark. And I think if, if an adult were to see that book, they probably would like drag me to like the psychiatrist and be like, help this kid. Because I was in so much pain. Eventually it affected my hair and my physical appearance. You know, it, it took a toll on me. I think the lesson of the day, if you're watching this, is if you're going through anything, I don't care what it is, if it's an emotional distressing place that you're at, mentally, whatever it is, just find someone that you can talk to and let them know. 
find an accountability partner, find someone who you can trust that you can re just release your hurt and pain to. Don't hold it in because if you hold it in, I promise you that stress will release itself in a very unproductive way in some other portion of your life. And it may even physically take a toll on you, much worse than just losing your hair. Don't let it come to that. Please don't let it come to that. Whether you're young watching this, whether you're older watching this, no matter where you are in your life, speak up for yourself and value yourself. I value myself so much more now today than I ever did back in the day. I wish I valued myself more back then because if I did, I would have spoke up. I wouldn't have put up with all that I had to put up with. I wouldn't have had to have lost my hair, but I went through it. It made me stronger. I got through it. It does get better. So I, I don't regret it but I wouldn't want to relive it. <laughs> but that's it, you guys. That is my story time of how I almost lost pretty much all of my hair due to stress and anxiety and depression. It's real. Mental health is real. Make sure you are taking care of yourself just like you would take care of yourself. If you broke your leg, you would go to the doctor. If you're feeling emotional distress, go see a doctor and talk about it. Don't hold it in. I promise next week's video is going to be a lot more lighter and funner and happier. <laughs> but I just wanted to give you guys another layer of who I am on my channel so that you can get to know me a little bit more and we can connect a little bit more. And let me know in the comments down below if you've ever dealt with any type of extreme stress that has ever affected your hair growth or your hair falling out, whatever it is, let me know if you're comfortable in the comments down below. I would love to talk about it with you. Please also don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok. I do answer my TikTok DMs and my Instagram DMs. If you want to connect with me there, definitely connect with me there and we can talk as well. If you enjoyed this content, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I post a new video, I post twice a week. Don't miss out. Until next time, keep it curly and always keep it healthy. Peace.